<laughs> okay. Hi, and welcome to this final episode. Before we go to over to Gotland, Lisa, we have a few days uh, until the race. Mm -hmm. We have done some final preparations. We have uh, changed the tires. We have put the uh, seat cover on. We have put moss in the wheels to prevent from getting a flat tire. How is your uh, feelings now, just a few days before the race? I am excited, but also very nervous because I haven't ridden in Gotland before. I have been uh, helping you a few times, but uh, only sitting in the forest, waiting for you to come once or twice. I'm nervous. Yeah. But excited to see what's coming. Yeah. Uh, what I was mostly nervous for is the weather. Uh, it looks as it's going to be nice weather, but you never know in Gotland. It's an island outside of Sweden, so they, they mm. can change very, very quick. I remember when they did the Vest series race there. Uh, the, the Friday was like perfect. Then it came so much rain during the night. So, yeah, it was yeah. a <laughs> disaster. And right now it's raining, so yeah. we're yeah. really hoping for sun. Yeah, for and sure. Some wind. Yeah, it's gonna be exactly it, the wind will help it to, to dry up. What have you done now, like in, in the preparation for the race, if we don't talk about the equipment? Yes, so I'm doing some mental preparation. Uh, I'm watching some movies from the race when other people drive. So I'm just trying to focus on see how they handle it. Yeah, yeah, and, exactly. Uh, and getting some uh, information from you because you've been riding that track a few mm. times. So you have lots of experience from yeah. it. But we have a few stuff that we brought out here. We have the goggles, a pair of roll-offs, which is a must when you go over to Gotland. Uh, even though it's going to be dry, it, you will get mud on your, your, on your goggles. So you need to be able to, to clear your lens. And that's the only way to, to use a roll-off. This is one pair. We're also going to have this uh, use the Scott ones you got from KTM. Just mm. brought these ones up. Yep. So a must to have these roll-offs. And yes. also, uh, we have some supplements here uh, from Fairing. It's a Swedish brand uh, that specializes in, in uh, motocross and enduro. Uh, we have some zinc and magnesium that's uh, to prevent cramp from getting cramp, mm -hmm. which is good to start like uh, two days before the race to, to mm -hmm. fill up. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, two really good products here. We have uh, the fuel, which uh, is carbohydrates and also some BCAA and uh, amino acids. So it also will help you to prevent from uh, getting cramp. But this one you're going to start drink also like two days before. In the same uh, day as, as the race, you take it in the morning. This one is really good. It's a product for, called Free Flow, which has B, beta alanine. I think it's beta alanine. That's the Swedish word for it, at least. To help the blood flow easier in your body to prevent from getting like this really stiffness cramp. Okay. Uh, that's also a good product. And, and I take that in the morning? Yeah, before the race. Mm. Just before we go out to the race, okay. you're going to take that one. Yes. Uh, we also have this one, Slow Carbs. It's a good product. Uh, a little bit slower carbs, I, uh, and this is a good preparing product as well. You could like prepare two days before with this one and then put the fuel in the camel back uh, while you ride, so you fill up, fill up during the race. Okay, yeah. And then we have this product also from Fairing, which is a recovery product. So this one you're going to take uh, directly after the race, so you recover better. Oh, yeah. Do you think you're going to be tired after the race? Yes, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I did my first Gotland National, I think it was the first, like 2013 or something like that. Uh, I was very tired after the race. <laughs> the race. Uh, Gotland is a special race because it's world's biggest enduro race. Uh, so it's mm -hmm. going to be this year over 3,000 participants coming to the race. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, so that, that puts a lot of like uh, preparations also coming to the area. And also in your start, it's going to be almost 800 riders, I think. Mm. 100 women, so that's really cool mm. to, yeah, to hear and fun. see. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, in, in my start, uh, it's going to be 1,500 <laughs> starting. Mm -hmm. Not at the same time. We have like different age groups and, and it's going to be 10 minutes between every start. But we will be like 1,500 people on the track. Yeah. Mm. And the course, we haven't spoke so much about that actual race. Probably all the Swedish people watching this know about it. 
but the course is like I think it's is it twenty kilometers or twenty two kilometers? One mm -hmm. like lap. one lap is is like that. When when, when it's good weather, not so rainy uh, and so on, I maybe ride one lap in I don't know thirty two thirty three minutes something like that. Mm. The race is for three hours and you're supposed to ride as many laps as you can during that time. Oh. What is your goal there? Uh, of course, my goal, first goal is to go over the finish line <laughs> yeah. once. Yeah. But I hope to go at least two laps. Two laps. That would be an achievement for me. Yeah, for sure. To do. Mm. Yeah, for sure. And three laps is a really success. Yeah, for sure. So, but two laps, I think it's uh, realistic. Yeah, mm. yeah. And I think you can make it uh, with with your speed and everything. Just like uh, try to, uh, of course, avoid avoid falling, uh, mm. because wh whenever you fall, you have to lift up the bike and use a lot of energy. So yeah. try to stay away from that. Yes. But but so so the race is for three hours. Try to ride as many laps as as you can. Yeah, I think it's a very very good good goal. And and if you do three, two or th even three laps, I think we have proven what we want to prove with this whole series that you can go from never been riding a bike mm. and with good and right preparations, you're able to get into this uh, sport. Yeah, so let's, absolutely. Let's, mm. let's hope you do it. But yeah, so, so we're going to go there and we like directly when we come over to the island, you have to travel there by ferry. We're going to load the car with all the bikes uh, and then go over and then you go to the race area. And, and you, check, you do the check-up on the bike, then we come back and you're going to rise on, on Friday. Yeah, so my start is on noon at 12, Yeah, exactly, which is, I think it's good. Yeah, uh, I think you. it's good. But uh, you who've been there, what time do we have to be on, on place on Friday? Yeah, that's good. In a good time. Good question. For the preparation. Yeah, I, I would say like uh, at least if we have done the pre like registration and everything day before, so you actually just need to change and go back, go out to the start. Uh, I I think it's a good to be like two and a half, maybe three hours before. Mm. Just to take it slow, get access to the area. It takes like 20 minutes to drive for, from where we live, and just access the area and go there, like. Mm. Yeah, uh, do everything like prepare yourself and so on and do some mm. warm warm up uh, is is also good and then yeah go you out can do warm up there is warm up not track. on the bike not on the bike you no? just yeah okay. from from where the parking is you just drive your bike to the start but you can do some running to to just warm up the body oh. because it's very intense to go from like zero to hundred which you mm -hmm. would do because all the adrenaline and everything so yeah it's a good thing to do if you want to come to Sweden and race this is probably the most fun race to do because I think everybody can do it with the right preparations. It's not that tough kind of riding and the track is really, really cool. Uh, the, the area is, it's a military area, so it's just open for this race. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of uh, this year, a lot of people co will come and, and see it. You can follow it on Swedish television. Mm -hmm. I spoke with the Connie, the, the, the owner of Nordic Sport Events. He said that they have a lot of like more cameras coming there and that's really good for, for the sport that they show it to the people. Yeah. You get more, more people involved. Yeah, and you can follow the live result on yeah. the Gotland Grand Nationals website. Exactly. So you can see if I'm making it or not. Yeah. And everybody else, if you know anybody who's riding, you can follow their result. That's exactly. very exciting to do. Exactly, exactly. Mm. So now we're going to just start uh, loading the car, find the last adjustments, and then we're going to start to to go over to Gotland yeah. and start preparing you there. Yes. Okay. Good luck, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you have any thoughts or something you wonder about, just uh, write it in the comments and follow this channel uh, if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. See you uh, at, in Gotland.